Hey everyone, welcome to Token Topics. The Stellar XLM and MoneyGram partnership is the topic of this video. It's been one year since Stellar announced their partnership with MoneyGram and a lot has happened. I want to share with you this intelligent discussion on the current partnership and what it's brought and what the future looks like. Lauren Thorpe Jornsen from the SDF is our host. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today on this LinkedIn Live. Um, we are so excited to be celebrating the one year of Cash to Crypto Ramps with MoneyGram. Um, I'm Lauren Thorbjornson. I'm the Chief of Staff at the Stellar Development Foundation. And I am joined by Luther Maday, who is the Head of Innovation at MoneyGram. You probably all know MoneyGram, hundreds of thousands of locations around the world, present in almost every country. Very interesting study that showed that there was about 1.4 billion people worldwide that were either unbanked or and then the other interesting stat is that nearly 60% of working adult population still operates in cash. So if you kind of take those two metrics together and then you look at digital assets and blockchain, there's a little bit of like a gap there, right? Like, so if you look at most of the ways that you can interact with the blockchain or a digital asset is usually through something that's like a credit card or a debit card which means that the 60% of the world's population that was operating in cash or these people, the, the, the folks that were in the they really didn't have a really easy way to start taking part in this digital economy. And I think that the, the, for people that maybe didn't catch that, like you, we're missing out on a huge part of the world's population not being able to participate in something that folks like us deal with and talk about get excited about every day. And that was that was a very interesting need that I think this partnership uncovered. And so it was really that need is what we're uh, addressing today, right? So the partnership is this. With the, with the partnership between Seller Development Foundation and MoneyGram allows for any wallet that's on the Stellar blockchain to be able to on-ramp. So go from fiat into USTC or go from USTC into fiat, um, you know, in 170 plus countries. And that's for us. And I think the combination of what we're doing today, it's super exciting to know that that can be done today uh, across the globe. And, and the beauty of it is like the, the transaction starts within the wallet itself. And so the consumer or the user that's using the wallet is very, is operating from a familiar space that they know that they've been using for a while. And the addition of MoneyGram as on an off ramp gives them the ability to cross that last mile and be able to use USDC on a day in day out basis to buy things like a loaf of bread. It's pretty incredible. And, you know, it's this like new access point and, you know, just like you were saying, this way to get into the digital economy for people who maybe have not been able to access it. Um, and I think that's a really powerful thing that, you know, we've been working on. It's not always obviously been easy, but I do remember when it went live last year um, in Austin, right before it consensus and, you know, Danelle and I talk about this sometimes, like it was me and her and some folks from your team who are in a CVS and testing it out, making sure it all worked. Um, it was a really exciting moment, I think, for all of us to, you know, as I sort of was saying, this is, this is definitely a journey. It's not, you know, you turn it on and everything's amazing. So what's maybe a favorite or difficult moment that you remember kind of as this has all been, you know, standing up this partnership? Yeah. For, for folks that are not familiar with MoneyGram, even though we're in, we operate in 200 plus countries, um, we're a country that we're a company that's been, you know, built over the past eight decades, right? And because of that, we've been able to build this tremendous network of assets across the globe. That's, you know, 430,000 plus locations, various digital endpoints, et cetera, et cetera. And the core of what we do today is enable assets or value to be moved from point A to point B, right? We allow for people to send money from, from themselves to somebody else. And it's usually from like the US to India or from the Middle East into the Philippines, et cetera, right? So there's all these corridors. We know that business really well. And we're, you know, we're, when we look at it, the remittance corridors that we operate in, it's really key that, you know, what we do today, we're, we're very familiar with it. We know how it operates, what makes it tick, what, what, what people need and how we can service their need really well. Well, the, my favorite part about this is that with the with this project, Lauren, we were launching into a whole different 
kind of operation using digital asset, right? And I think it was so amazing to see uh, a huge shout, shout out to our product and dev teams who really took on this challenge and said, hey, we know how to operate in this remittance space today. We know what our customers need today, but we're going to, within the span of a couple of months or you know, less than a couple of months, understand what this different customer needs. How do we create an experience that is very seamless to them leveraging the same assets that we use today for remittance across the globe. I think seeing our teams like really rally around the challenge and then, you know, successfully deliver a product that meets that need using things that we have today was, I think that's one of like, that's something that I'll never forget. Talking about, you know, a year ago, sort of this was that first piece in place, right? Like how could we make this, um, you know, cash to crypto easier and how could we access sort of those different types of populations who maybe would want to, you know, those 60% who are operating in the cash economy. And then, you know, uh, the war in Ukraine broke, broke out at the early, at the beginning of last year. And we sort of said to ourselves, maybe there's also something here, right? That some way that digital assets could help. And we asked ourselves that question. And that's when we sort of, we started talking to some, um, some aid organizations such as the UNHCR and the International Rescue Committee and really to understand their needs a bit more and understand what aid disbursement looks like for them and um, kind of what we could do to help at least give another avenue for um, to disperse aid. And, you know, as we talk to them, we, we realize that there are ways to create sort of a digital experience for, for, you know, certain people who need cash assistance urgently and quickly and that's something that you know blockchain and digital assets can do really well is to get you know you know digital assets into people's hands really quickly um and how we could kind of create that into you know a, a product flow and a, and a system that got people those you know the things that they need urgently um in a way that was you know familiar to them right like have a digital experience that made sense to them so building a wallet that was accessible to you know more general users um you know, not necessarily built for the crypto native, but, you know, like I was saying, for my mom or for my dad or for someone, you know, who's in, a, you know, some of these folks who maybe are receiving cash assistance are in a bunker or, um, you know, they're don't, you know, they're in, in a city and they don't necessarily have access to get to their bank. So how can we get that to those people um, quickly and efficiently? And so we've worked with the UNHCR and, um, you know, we launched that at the end of December and, all of these folks are able to, you know, receive aid into their digital wallet and then go cash out into the money grams in Ukraine um, and then, you know, have cash on hand when they need it. And then otherwise have a safe store of value in their vibrant wallet whenever, um, you know, when they when they don't need to cash out. And I think kind of that sort of is a really also incredible testament to one sort of that initial thing we have built together and then how that could scale to something else and kind of create other um areas of innovation for different kind of industries that maybe we weren't all thinking about when this when this path together you know started given that moneygram access provides this set of the population that predominantly operates in cash a way to engage in a new ecosystem but still use a very familiar method of payment makes it very very unique and we're the first ones to launch this along with stellar I'm Luther Madej, Head of Fintech Strategy and Innovation at MoneyGram. MoneyGram is a 80-year-old company that enables movement of money for 150 million consumers across 200 countries. I'm Alicia Smith. I'm Head of Product for our business and new fintech products. We're in Uptown, which is a part of Dallas, Texas. A lot of companies are coming here. There's a lot more banks coming to the area. It's a great place to be, a lot of opportunity. We at MoneyGram, we're in the business of moving money for our consumers. Over the past eight decades, we've spent quite a bit of time establishing a footprint of over 450,000 physical locations and more than 5 billion digital endpoints. The backbone of MoneyGram's customers are immigrants like myself that have moved from countries like India or Pakistan or different countries like that, to countries like the US or Canada or Australia and Europe. And the primary use case is for them to send money back home to their families. Digital assets have always had the promise of being able to send a message and settle immediately. This is very different than the way that most financial services work today. 
While digital assets have a lot to offer, one of the biggest things that holds the proliferation of digital assets today is the fact that they can't be used every day to pay for things. And that's basically defined as the last mile. The last mile being cash doesn't really exist today. MoneyGram Access is the true one-of-a-kind cash on and off-ramp built on the Stellar network. This allows any wallet on the Stellar network to provide their consumers with a way to go from cash into USDC, which is a cash-in, or go from USDC out into a local currency, which is a cash-out. USDC being a stable coin that is US dollar pegged, and us being a US-based company with Stellar, a network that's been designed for the optimization of speed and cost. The wallets themselves are connected through Stellar Network. We integrated with Stellar SEP24 protocol, which is just like a standard way of anchors and wallets connecting to the Stellar platform. And there were many pivots, reprioritization, <laughs> trade-offs to get it stood up. And one of the most interesting pivots we had was we had an aid organization reach out to us. We accelerated cash out first globally so we could support the Stellar Aid Assist program. And we prioritized enabling that first to help the people of Ukraine. So in my opinion, that's probably one of the more powerful and energizing use cases of the product. MoneyGram Access is currently live for cash out in 180 plus countries and cash in in 17 countries. We currently have four wallets that are currently live and more coming down the pipeline. Roughly two billion people of the world's population still operate predominantly in cash. And that includes people like my dad that use cash on a day in day out basis. Ultimately, Anything that allows us to provide the customer a way to get money from point A to point B more effectively, faster, and on time is always something that we will look at because we totally understand that the funds not reaching on time to their loved ones makes the difference between paying rent or not paying rent, putting food on the table or not putting food on the table. My dream for MoneyGram Access is that end users feel empowered with their ability to hold digital currencies and turn it into local currency anytime they like. I hope that helps them feel safer and helps improve their quality of life. Keep your crypto safe with a decent biometric hardware wallet. With talks about cyber attacks or exchanges going down, it's imperative to keep your assets safe. And just know with Descent, your private keys are your private keys and only you have access to them. In the description below, I'm going to put affiliate links where you can receive $30 off the retail price. There's also a two wallet package deal that's a great value. There's no need to wait. Order your wallet and keep your crypto safe now. Well, everyone, that's all I have for the video. If you did enjoy the content, please do consider subscribing so you can stay up to date. Thank you.